Hello Aries, this is your uh, June 15th to the 30th, 2018 reading. This could be a two-parter. I'm going to do a general reading and then a love reading. Both five cards spread. It will not resonate with all Aries, but I'm hoping to get, you know, a large majority of you. So this is for Aries. June 15th through the 30th, 2018 general reading for Aries. Aries. General reading 15th to the 13th, June 2018. Do you shuffle these prior? Meditate, as I say all the time. Meditate on your sign. I have my own little way of doing things. I think a lot of times they're accurate. Three of Cups. A few of you are having, having this. A few of the other signs are having this. It's Three of Cups. Celebration going out. Having fun. Um, it is June for a lot of people. Some people go on vacation at this time. Some just get, you know, you know, family reunions, all kind of stuff. But it's it's fun. The overall energy. Let's see if it stays that way. In the past, a decision was made. A truthful one. Someone has had their truth in the past. They said what they wanted to say or needed to say. Ace of Swords. Why are you there in the past for Aries? Why are you in the past for Aries? Yeah, I got maybe someone had too many options, uh, a lot of choices that were presented in front of them, and they didn't really like any of them because usually when you got the Seven of Cups, there's a lot of options, some confusion, and they're not all the, the options are are not all that great. So you may have said you didn't like any of them, or maybe you you did choose one of them, but you had your truth, you had your say. Obstacle, Aries, general reading, obstacle. Queen of Swords, in reverse. So you got this air energy. Someone may be taking on this energy. They don't have to be an air sign. Sometimes it is, you know, it's, a, it's an Aquarius, it's a Gemini, Libra, and they're in reverse. So, yeah, that would be an obstacle. So why are you there, Queen of Swords? Why are you in reverse? Desire, maybe they wanted something from you or you wanted from something from them and it didn't work out. Maybe they came across wrong when they wanted this. Or maybe you desired the Queen of Swords in reverse and it was an obstacle. But whatever it is, you leave it in the comments because that is considered a lust card, desire, desire. And it was an obstacle. Current environment. What is currently happening right now or the subject at hand? Princess of Discs. This could be Earth energy. It could be uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. They're in the upright. So you got someone around you that sounds stable, good natured. Why are they in the um, current environment? Princess of Disc. Princess of Disc. I did say that in the beginning, didn't I? Princess of Disc. Why are you there, Princess of Disc? Why are you in the current environment? Happy with this person. You like this person. It's enjoyment here. You got the sun. You got the sun card. What is coming towards you or what people are thinking of you? Outside environment. Could be friends or family. Spouse, ex, it doesn't matter. This is a general reading. What is coming towards Aries? Getting that for a lot of the uh, spreads also. The Two of Pentacles in reverse. So someone may not be wanting uh, a certain change. It's considered change. It's, uh, it's considered in other spreads juggling. But maybe someone is not wanting to juggle. You know, someone that, that thinks, you know, that you don't want change. Or don't want to juggle a certain situation. Someone may be thinking of that. I'm thinking that's what it is. Someone's feeling that way. But can't be sure. Two of Pentacles. Why are you in reverse as the outside environment? The 
yeah, they're not, they feel, I think, I'm pretty sure I got this for another sign. Um, both cards, they're feeling not very successful with you. They may be trying to, I don't know, get you to change your mind. It's not happening. They feel like the lack of success with you. Outside, um, the outcome for Aries, for this general reading, the love reading is coming up next. Outcome. An offer. It's a slow offer, but it's an offer. It's the eight of discs. It's in the upright. If it was in reverse, I say, you know, it may not happen or it's even slower. But the ace of discs is in the upright. Someone may offer you some money, financial, something financial, maybe a job, something new. I need a card for the Ace of Disc. Yep, and it's something you kind of wanted. It's a wish star. It's a hopeful star. You know, something you were really wanting. So it's a slow coming, but it, it's coming. It may start in June, but it's going to kind of go past June, too. All these card readings start with the way I say, you know, the date I give, but they could go beyond June. Remember that. Um, one more card, one more card for, let's rock the boat here and get one more card, see if we can have anything with it. Yep, and you're making a final decision on it. Outcome, four of pentacles. A lot of people say this is holding back, and it is, it's also holding back certain finances to yourself and, and, and bringing in money to yourself and holding it tight. So, Four of Pentacles. I see some financial good offers here and it's sound decisions for Aries. So, let's get to the love reading. Move this up. You can look at it some more. Finally getting some good readings. Let's see if the loved one is just as, as, as you know, powerful or just as, as uh, positive. Aries. I need a reading for Aries. 15... Uh, June 15th to the 30th, a love reading. Five card spread for Aries. A love reading for Aries. Five card spread, love. What is in their love life? Or is there going to be a love life? Sometimes there isn't. But I see you've got financially good uh, stability coming towards your way. Somebody may not like the changes. And that obstacle, someone may desire what you have. And it's kind of turned them around. The Queen of Swords in the obstacle, if you recall. Let's see what we got here. Three of Swords. In the past, maybe uh, you got your choice between two different people. Maybe uh, even three different people. It also could be a third-party situation. But someone, someone wins, someone loses, or maybe all of them lose. But it's an overall energy. Maybe in the past, someone didn't choose you or you didn't choose them. In the past, you did have some give and take. You got the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles in, is in the upright, so someone was giving some give and take. They were balancing things. And probably, you know, you, you helped somebody out. The Six of Pentacles, why are you there? The King of Pentacles. So someone who's very uh, stable, financially secure, knows what they want, good character. They're in the upright. It could be an earth sign, it could be a Taurus, uh, Capricorn, Virgo, but it also could be your energy, you're taking on the power of the King of Pentacles. Now the obstacle in your love life, uh, you're still thinking, you're not really making sure plans, you're just like thinking, mulling over the situation. And it's an obstacle. Maybe you're just not moving too quickly with it. So, Seven of Pentacles is someone thinking and thinking, you know, what the next move is going to be. And maybe you're just not making that move. Let's find out. Seven of Pentacles, why are you there? Working. You're thinking about work. and Maybe yeah, that's the obstacle. You're working too much. You know, maybe you got to, like, take a break and go out and have some fun. You know, mingle, meet somebody. Current environment. Uh, you know, I don't make no judgments. It's your life. Current environment or um, the subject at hand. 
We're Aries. Love life. Justice. Just trying to get what you want. Taking justice. It's also going to be contracts sometimes. Getting justice. Getting what you deserve. I need a, another card for the justice card for Aries. To, uh, refuse to be chained to a certain any situation. You want what you deserve and don't want to be chained down. What is coming towards you? The outside environment, what people are thinking of you. They think that your your the sun is shining on you. They they and maybe the sun is shining towards you. You know, it's coming towards you. Good good read. Definitely for money situation and what you want in life. I don't see a whole lot of love cards here, but I see some a lot of you know pleasant situation of what you're wanting. So what, I need another card for the sun card for Aries. Yeah, you're you're. It's like the lover's in reverse. You're happy. What's coming towards you is happiness, but it's not necessarily a lover. Could be that you have some lovers and you may not, or not that you have lovers, but you may have some offers that you may not take on, but you're just really kind of happy. Happiness is coming towards you. But I don't think it has a lot to do with love. Let me get the last card, the outcome. Well, you got the uh, Knight of Wands here. You may get an offer, a quick offer. And I hate to say it, sometimes this is a one-night stand offer or someone who just doesn't stick around for long. Maybe just a lot of fun, you know. Knight of Wands isn't usually, when they're in reverse, they're not usually um, one to settle down. This also could be your energy because it is a fire energy. Maybe you just don't want to settle down. Knight of Wands. I need another card for the Knight of Wands. You're not looking for anything to come in or anything to go. It's just like you're not settling down. It's like you're looking just to live your life and be happy. At least in June, I do see some slow energies with some finances coming, but they're coming. And some people have a lot of love in their in their chart, you know, their spreads, and some people don't. But you have happiness. You're happy. You're content, Aries. One more. One more for Aries for the outcome. Yeah, you may, uh, I'm thinking you're going to have a lot of offers. you got a lot of things going at, with finances. I think you're more, you're more, your mind is more on finances and stability and getting your life together than it is finding a soulmate or, tw or twin flame, at least for June. And there's that three, three of swords. You may break some hearts over it. You know, maybe somebody wants to get with you and you're just not ready just for the month of June. July may change the whole thing. So see you in July. Or actually, before July. See you later. Bye.